Dil dharakne do. 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 Dil I wanted a sibling story at the core of it. So and myself when we started this thing that you know when you look at any so called normal family there is a kind of a you know a insanity and maybe a dysfunctionality to it. From the time that Zoya and Reema mentioned this is the area uh, of a family uh, on a cruise together their issues and how they were going to resolve those problems so it sounded like um, a film that i i felt i hadn't seen in the indian film milieu at least for a while it's always a germ and then we talk about it for like a month or two and then we kind of formulate the characters and then once we get from this is where it'll begin and this is where it'll end that's when we start writing it up read the script and heard the narration also I found it extremely endearing. It's a script full of uh, humor, life, romance. After a road trip and through Spain, now they're taking us on a cruise, which is all through the Med, and you're going through various countries. So I think these girls only like to write travel films. In terms of location, we were like we could do it at a home. in a city but that's scattered but there's something about a ship that makes you feel trapped as well it's a visually and cinematically interesting for me okay guys good luck to everyone yeah. 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 Oh. 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 all our problems are solved, solved. <laughs> have a montage at the pier everybody gets in and we see the ship there's so many human traits you can't put them all in one or two characters so it's fun to divide it and have different kinds of people and it's just juicier uh the casting was a huge part of it because we have like 25 speaking parts in the film as well as very specific about the main family that they should look a little i mean there should be something that you feel is a certain resemblance we were writing this character and reema was like uh, anil kapoor this character of kamal mera i said this is something which i've never done she narrated me the film and i heard the role took a lot of convincing to play a father ak decided to say yes to this movie because no one else could be kamal mera thoda sare aise bahan aise tum aise tum mahan thoda aise tum sare mahan Aisha Mehra is actually my co-writer Reema's favorite character. She's an ambitious girl. She's a self-made achiever who's never given the credit of everything that she's achieved because she's a girl. Pehli baar my favorite song from the album this unique situation where Farah is rehearsing and Kabir walks in and then they just rock out together. Pehli baar tumko maine jab dekha tha Sun lo ya Very bad is like your uh, it's not a love song it's a make out song so it's all the tension that people have before they're going to hook up right so uh, i think that again is very very new we both came out with this idea that you know just i will tell them what to do but i will not tell them to synchronize just leave them 5 6 7 8 tumko maine jab dekha tha Very specifically, we uh, briefed Carlos 
that I want to shoot the full song on a steady cam and hand handle. It came out superb and I love it. I think the energy is outstanding. Kabir is born into a, a well-to-do family, a businessman father, homemaker mother, older sister who is far more talented, intelligent and capable than him. I love Ranveer. Ranveer, uh -huh. there's something, uh, yeah, one second. <laughs> he is someone I've always enjoyed. He's just a really cool guy and he loves being an actor so much. Yay, mummy, mummy, my actor ban gaya, you know, he has that, that feeling all the time. He is the apple of her eye. Adorable. He's just, he's Kabir Mehra. He's like that only. Happy Papa is generous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Anushka is a dancer in the film, and that's the first song that comes in. Girls like to swing. It should not be like sexy or you know burlesque type. It, it had to be cute. It had to be energetic. It had to be playful, and uh, I think that was achieved very well. And Anushka did a fantastic job. Something like electro swing is what she wanted. Sunidhi came and sang it and she really killed the song. This song is lyrically very difficult. Javed ji just wrote it. Jagmagati ladkiya ye kil khilati ladkiya Chaan gitne hai dhe na radhi Jagmagati ladkiya ye chil milati ladkiya Jin ke diwane tum bhi to ho it's kind of like you hark back to like Mera Naam Chin Chin Chu. Those kind of songs. Hello. Farhan's like a, he's the catalyst. He comes in and just triggers things off. Um, he's a journalist who's working for a reputed fictional magazine called The Geographic in the film. You can't just represent women's issues by only putting women out there. I think you need to change your palette by putting new men in there as well. And I think uh, Sunny is that. I think Sunny is the kind of guy like you want to be with. Action. So long. Action. Shubhaki. Priyanka singing for the first time in a Bollywood song um, and she's great in the song, she's done a fab job. After a long time I have faced a tune which challenged me, I have sung it with such ease, I am really impressed. Uh, Angela Sanlo are very talented people and you know, and of course with Javed Saab writing it, he's the youngest, he's young at heart. The camera was dancing with the actors. So that was another fun part of it. Dil Dharak Neto is one of the examples what we have really enjoyed doing choreography and shooting it. Very 80s uh, pop rock kind of style. Priyanka and Farhan will be singing it. Both did a great job on it. I love the title track. It's cute. It's the spirit of the film. It is why. Bolo bhai. Kya hai? So, gammat. Gammat. <laughs> I love dust. <laughs> I don't love dust. <laughs> uh, Rahul Bose was a, a casting coup. I don't want you to do off camera because you're sure. distracting me. I just want to look at the red dot. <laughs> I have people walking up to me in restaurants now imitating the whistle and I'm like, I can't believe this is what's going to happen 21 years into my career. Here I am going down the steps whistling like a poria, you know. Plus he and Priyanka are just juicy together. A fool habits are very unhealthy. And in this moment, a 24-year-old girl's body is 
Very early. <laughs> Shefali, you know, who is the most incredible actor I've ever worked with. Neelam Mehra, who has her whole world twisting and turning around all the time, but yet to maintain dignity and grace. I mean, there's no better person than Shefali to do it. But Neelam Mehra is this, uh, you know, she's this Delhi socialite, all done up all the time, could be breaking inside, but wouldn't let anyone see it. When you see Anil Shefali, Priyanka and Ranveer, you're like, they're a family. We talk about the family all above. The real thing is that no one does anything with each other. What are you talking about? Huh? 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 Go to camera! मैं डालू डाल पे भंगड़ा तू भी गिद्दा पाले चल I remember when she when Zoya got it and she says, okay, we play it again for the cast and the crew and the entire team was on the floor dancing like mental people. <laughs> Dil Dharakte Do was the best, by far, the best shooting experience of my life. I call it my holiday film. Five star shooting, five star shooting. I think that I have travelled to so many places because of this film. I saw some amazing places like Ville Franche and Chirita Vichia and La Spezia. In Istanbul, you are welcome to the first day. When Zoya was riding, I told her that, you know, look at Turkey. It is unexplored in film. So we were in Antalya, we were in Kushidasi, we were in Istanbul, we were in Cappadocia and it's possibly one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. Say hi! <laughs> this is my fourth film with Carlos. I'm very comfortable with him. He was fun to work with. He adds that realness to the film. He was chilled out, which is very important. He's not invasive as a DOP. He's so cute. <laughs> I think I love that. It's adorable to see a cute cameraman behind the camera. Even though he's gross and sweaty, he's so cute still. <laughs> he's a storyteller. He's a filmmaker. It's not just he's somebody who's a cameraman who'll come and light. No. He uh, uses the camera to tell the story. He's interested in how it unfolds. He's interested in characters. So I like what. I should be. I'm, I would like to be an actor instead of Captain. Captain is boring. Yeah, actually, you can stay another month and we shoot on the other bridge. Like that. You stay as Captain, I go with them uh, to Bali. Not a bad idea. I like that. Okay. It's Mr. Pluto, Mera. Pluto. Pluto is the best thing. He is the star of this film. Pluto. I was very jealous of Pluto. Yeah, okay. 
most well mannered so well behaved most good looking so obedient strongest so efficient cutest so good at what he does he's a hero such a lovely energy vivacious boy so good with people so i was like oh my god pluto is so cute oh my god no one's ever going to look at you guys because pluto was so cute so yeah whenever pluto was around he got all of zoya's attention but besides that he was adorable and such a beautifully trained dog <laughs> Like to me, my crew is very, very key. I have a lot of friends in the industry that are professionals that happen to fit both these criteria. So when you work with your friends, you don't feel like life is passing you by. It's a great feeling. So whether it's Avan who does hair, whether it's Rima who co-writes with me, whether it's Carlos who shoots my films, whether it's Abhijit who does stills, whether it's uh, Natasha who does makeup, uh, Arjun Basin who does costumes, uh, Shubha who's the continuity supervisor, Luis Casagoberta who's the first AD, Sanjay Sami, Kamlesh. the gap you take anybody in my crew i've worked with them all of them before and that is priceless ye rukde aur di malta shit why arjun basin is If Arjun Basin doesn't do my film, I'll be shattered. He can handle actors. He uh, delivers an entire palette. He doesn't work with people in isolation. You can see the film with him. He handles people well, which is very important for a costume designer because for the actors, they need to trust you. You know, so he is excellent. Busy? Hello, very busy. Busy today? We're always busy. Morning, You're also busy. Very busy. they just they really good at what they do you know so you don't have to sit in stress about what you're looking like and it's always nice to work with people who are who are good at what they do i don't think they like me anymore they were a bit fed up because they had like 26 haircuts to do all the time like every 3 weeks they had to keep people every was too much it was too much but they had fun Zoya was fed up, fed up absolutely. She felt I'm going to go bald. I was 100 hours on the chair with Avan. All of them, you know, detailing with my hair and playing me, being a crazy guy, wanted perfection. Difference between multiplex and single screen. If I had to articulate for you uh, as an example. Uh, Single screen would be yeah. <laughs> Multiplex would be hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, different. The look of the film is really based on the um, kind of classic, um, iconic cruising era of the 30s and 40s, the Art Deco period. Remember, Zoya telling me it has to look rich, it has to look luxurious, and it has to look a little Punjab. Patel uh, actually is a New York based production designer. He's not big on Hindi movies. He doesn't watch a lot of Hindi movies, so he doesn't really uh, have any context to it, which is great. And he is really fun to work with. I don't exaggerate to say this is really an incredible experience for me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed working with Carlos and Zoya and with Excel. Every single person, every single role was so well etched that. Each person who played it had so much to do, and you will remember them when you watch the movie. There's no one that you'll not remember who was just supporting cast and just came and went.
Zoya is by far one of the best directors that have ever been in this country. She has made only good films. The first thing I can say about her is just the lovely, unique human being that she is. My journey is outstanding with Zoya Akhtar because she's been a lucky mascot and I just love her to death. No, Zoya, good thing with Zoya is like she always gets us damn good performances from the actors. And I mean their writing skills are damn good. She is a director who will lead you right to the end of the film and give you something that you're going to be happy with. Mm -hmm. She is, she is a sweetheart. She's a rock star. Yeah. I mean, Zoya Akhtar, the director, what more can you say? She's really of a different level. It's definitely a blessing for anyone to be a part of an Excel project and uh, to work with Zoya. When we did Zindagi Daan Mile Dubara, from that time to this time, I'm too excited to always work with her. I'm ha very happy about my children, not only because they are successful, that they have achieved success by doing some good work. What is amazing about her is how affectionate she is on set. You know, one of the greatest Indian directors, but one of the world's greatest directors. For me, it's like a dream come true, working with Zoya. Zoya is uh, an actor's delight. One thing I can say, Zoya, I love you. <laughs> I can't talk about Zoya. I can't talk about Zoya. It's, it's too personal.